Sometimes you might need to increase the row height to accommodate larger fonts or text that uses multiple lines. You cannot resize each row individually. When you resize a row, all the rows are resized. To manually resize a row, place the mouse pointer between record selectors of two rows. When the pointer becomes a double-headed arrow, drag the row border down to increase all row heights or up to shrink all row heights. You can see the row heights changes. To resize rows to the default height, right click on a record selector. Select row height on the shortcut menu. In the row height dialog box, select the standard height checkbox. Click on OK. Resizing row using row height command. In records group, click on more. Click on row height. The row height dialog box appears. Enter the row height in point size. Or you can check the standard height checkbox to make the row size to default size. If you set the row height close to zero, all rows are hidden. You can see that. Set the row height to a larger number to, to redisplay the rows. As you make all these display changes to your data sheet, you probably don't want to make them again the next time you open the same data sheet. You can save the layout changes manually by clicking Save on the Quick Access Toolbar. Once you save the changes, you cannot undo the changes. Even if you did not save the layout changes, you cannot undo changes to the width of a column or the height of row by clicking the Undo button on the Quick Access Toolbar. To undo changes, close the data sheet. and then click No when you are prompted to save your changes to the layout of the data sheet. Clicking No will also undo any other layout changes that you made. Click on S to save the changes. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.